Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today I have a collective Amazon haul favorites for you guys. Now, I only do these like every six months. My last one was almost seven months ago, and that's because I genuinely like to collect quite a few items over the course of, you know, a couple of months. I love sharing them with you guys, so if you do want to get some pieces as well, I will make sure to link all of the items that I'm sharing in the description box below. But today we have such a wide range of items. I'm staring at them all on the ground right now. We have some faux plants, a lot of Thanksgiving items in terms terms of like Thanksgiving serveware and just stuff you kind of need if you are hosting for Thanksgiving this year because I needed a whole bunch as I'm hosting this year. Some decor, some DIY supplies, there's just a lot of fun stuff in today's video that I'm very excited to share with you guys. One last little thing before jumping in, I am hosting an Instagram giveaway which is honestly one of my first giveaways I've ever done. I'm giving two lucky winners a prize essentially so if you'd like to enter head over to my Instagram find this photo on the screen here super simple just tag a couple friends in the comment section make sure you're following along and you are entered to win one of two copper kitchen aids so we're gonna dive on into our first item here which is our largest one it is this faux mini olive tree here and a lot of you guys are like that is a small olive tree and it definitely is my friend Erica from peony and honey got this as like a tabletop artificial plant and I thought it was the most perfect tabletop little plant and I wanted to grab one as well and I love the sparseness of this tree in particular. Fake plants in general are pretty full, so I love how this one has like a very minimal, simplistic, modern element to it, and I think this would pair nicely in any shelf styling or decor. I think it's super, super minimal and simple, and I like how it has this kind of tall base, and then it goes into the more, you know, leafy bits at the top, and then it has a pretty nice pot at the bottom, but I probably will be adding this into something a bit more decorative. So if you're in the market for a little mini olive tree for your tabletop or like a bookshelf or something, I love this one. I kind of want to just dive on into two products, which you guys might have seen in my last video, but I love these so much. I picked these up on Amazon a while back and I finally got around to using them and I had to feature them in my favorites. So they're both DIY supplies. The first one being the Sea Glass Amber Spray Paint. Now, a long time ago, you guys saw me feature the Terracotta Spray Paint and that was a huge, huge hit. However, you guys, I found us a new one. This is the Sea Glass Amber Spray Paint. And I love this because it gives you like that amber brown glass finish over the top of glass. But I've also used this so much, you guys, if you have seen in spray painting artificial plant. I used it on my olive trees and it just gave it almost the look of turning leaves. And I know that that might not appeal to everybody, but for me, for the fall season, I thought it was a nice touch. So it's really great to build up. You can add layers of it. I used it on those hurricanes I just created recently um, in my last fall DIY video. And I just think it's a really nice product. If you're in the market for like a new medium to use in your DIYs, I highly suggest this product. And I have also been absolutely in love with the Metal Effects Rust Finish Kit. Now, I actually picked mine up at Michael's, but I picked up a second one on Amazon because I almost used my first entire one on a couple of projects I've been working on. Now, this is basically like a three-step solution where you put the three different products onto your piece and it transforms any paintable surface into a rust finish. And I use these on my Hurricanes as well. And it was just, again, such a unique finish. And I feel like it's something you can't really achieve elsewhere. It's not really a look that you can get through paint or through, you know, another medium. I've really been into like vintage and antique decor pieces. And a lot of times you do find bits of rust or bits of imperfect perfections and just, you know, old character on pieces like that. So I love that I'm able to add that using a product like this to a more modernized DIY. Maybe check out Modern Masters Metal Effects. I think they have different kinds of rust, but I just love the traditional rust finish myself. Now, a few kind of decor -y bits I guess we could start off with are beeswax candles. So if you guys remember in my dining room makeover, I featured those beeswax can candles candles from Hearth and Hand at Target. Now, those are great, but they are a little pricey. I think you get two of them for like $8 or so. I got this entire pack for, I think, 10 bucks, and it comes with 12 beeswax candles, and I just have really been loving the look of these lately in my fall decor. I've been liking them so much more than just a traditional kind of ivory taper candle. It's still really natural, but it adds a bit of warmth. I will say the Amazon ones are a little bit on the yellower side than the ones from Target. The Target ones are a bit more creamy, but I still do absolutely love these. These are by Hyota Candles. I've been using these beeswax tapers in a lot of my videos, and I wanted to share with you guys that you could find them on Amazon. Another kind of decor -y bit are these really cute fall stems. And now, if you were to ask me what I would buy each season brand new, it would definitely be different stems for my vases. I'm always switching them out. I have a vases on my mantle. I have a vase on my coffee table with like some maple leaves in it for fall. And I'm always constantly changing up my stems around my home. 
And I got these ones for fall, kind of Thanksgiving vibes, and I love them. They are so realistic looking, first of all. The leaves are such nice quality, but I love how there's these little wooden elements. I love the berries, the dark brown berries as well, and the leaves themselves just look so realistic. You get three of them in a pack, and I love these so much. I feel like floral stems are kind of hit or miss on Amazon, and this is 100% a hit. So if you're in the market for these, I'll link them for you guys. I just thought they were really cute. A while back, you guys saw me share some of those vintage style brass frames that I found on Amazon, and I found a couple more because I actually ended up using the other three that I shared with you, so I wanted to pick up a few more. I love these so much. This one here also came with artwork already framed in it, which I feel like is a total double win for sure. There's already a mat in here, but I really love the shape to this one. It has more of like a curvy shape to it, and I think the detail and just coloring of this frame in particular, so pretty. It also has a little kickstand, so if you want to put it on a tabletop or, you know, like a mantle or something, you could do so, or you could hang it up on the wall. So this is a larger one. I believe this one holds an 8x10 or a 5x7 once matted. And then the other one is a smaller frame. Now this one's so cute. I love how it's arched. I think that's so adorable. And I also like that it holds a 4x6, which is a very generic photo size. But you guys all know I love my brass frames, so I had to share those with you guys because I cannot believe how good they look from Amazon. If you follow me over on Instagram, you might have seen that I got a Vitruvi oil diffuser, the terracotta one. It is so cute. It's right there. But I needed some more essential oils for it, and I really wanted some fall themed ones. So I went on Amazon and I found this set of six premium fragrance oils. This is in the Spice collection. And you guys, these smell incredible. Now I've used all of them except for cinnamon because when you have gingerbread, coffee cake, harvest spice, pumpkin pie, and apple cider as an option, why would you choose cinnamon? Like cinnamon's in all of those, but those are so much more complex flavors, you know? So I haven't used the cinnamon one yet, but I have used all of the other ones. They smell in, in, incredible. My personal favorite, honestly, is pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is my favorite anything, whether it be a scent, a dessert, a I don't even know, like a picture of pumpkin pie. That is totally fine. Wall art, pumpkin pie wall art is also great. Coffee cake, harvest spice, gingerbread, and these just seem really great quality. They do actually have a pretty strong fragrance to them as well. And they're not too bakery scenty, if you guys know what I mean by that, where you kind of get those Bath and Body Works candles and they smell so sweet and bakery, it almost gives you a headache. These are a bit more toned down and they're a bit more of like an actual essential oil where it feels more of the natural smell of an actual pumpkin pie or actual apple cider as opposed to like that very artificial official scent. So I've been loving this set here. Now we're getting into Thanksgiving mode because I purchased so many things for Thanksgiving this year. The first one being a pie dish. Well, actually it came with two pie dishes. I had no idea. I thought I was getting a great deal and getting one pie dish, but no, it actually came with two of them, which was quite nice. I'm very excited to make a pie this year. I think I've only made a pie like one time and I wanted it to look really cute. So I got this ceramic pie dish. I figured I can utilize it more in the future. It's just very simple. It's white kind of ceramic porcelain and it has a ridging on the side of it and a little bit of a crimped edge as well. If you guys remember a while back, I ordered a new dining set from Amazon or like, you know, cups, plates, and bowls. Now they actually had coordinating serving platters. So I picked those up because I thought they would be perfect for Thanksgiving. I got two packs of these. It's like an oversized kind of speckled white serving tray, but I love how the bottom has almost this like terracotta-y matte glaze on it on the bottom third. So this is a larger size and then it comes with a medium as well. And you can also order them where you get two larges or two mediums or you can kind of mix it up and I love these. I think they're perfect. They coordinate with my pieces. They're simple so they're kind of like the food shine and they were a great price as well because I feel like larger ceramic pieces like this they could really start adding up so I got these ones and I love them and then I ordered some serving utensils as well because I just have very basic ones so I wanted to get some cute ones for the table. Now these actually came in this little display box and inside they came in a satin bag. I was like this is so fancy. So inside you actually get four different utensils. Now you get a ladle here. Sorry about the noise of everything as well. This is a ladle. Then you also get the slotted spoon for like draining things, you know? I'm a professional chef. And then you get the spoon for serving. Serving spoon. You guys, I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. I'm not a chef. I don't cook very often, but I'm going to be trying this year. So I needed some serving utensils to serve up the amazing, incredible food that I'll be cooking. So I picked up these. They're really substantial, honestly. They're really heavyweight as well, and I feel like they're great quality. They have no scratches or scuffs either from even being like shipped and packed together. So overall, pretty good so far. A few kind of softer items here um, are tablecloths and napkins, which I know might be a little bit boring, but you guys, tablecloths are hard to find, at least cute tablecloths, because a lot 
lot of times you want like a linen one and they're hundreds of dollars honestly when you have to cover your entire table with linen so I found this one on Amazon it kind of has a gauzy finish to it but I love the color it is like kind of a bone tone with the slightest slightest bit of a lilac to it which it's kind of hard to come off on camera and in person but it just has the slightest bit of purple to it which I actually love because my new rug in my dining area has a bunch of purple in it so I feel like this kind of channels it and it also has this kind of stitching in there I'm not sure what that's called now this tablecloth came in multiple colors and multiple sizes so you can definitely find one that fits your table for sure I'm actually styling it today for a little shoot for a Thanksgiving tablescape so very excited for this tablecloth to be utilized so I got these napkins I believe they're like a linen cotton blend but I loved this orangey kind of pumpkin color they're more like rusty dark kind of unsaturated in person which I love they're actually the most perfect color and I think they're gonna pair perfectly on top of this tablecloth here I love these colors together and then of course you know the serveware is gonna be all white to kind of brighten it up but we still have that terracotta on the underside it's just gonna be really cute so I got these napkins they came in a pack of four they have a little border detail to them as well and I'm excited I'm really really mostly excited for the place settings I think it's gonna be so fun you know like folding up the napkin putting a little cinnamon stick tying a string around it adding a little sprig of something and then putting it on top of the plate for someone to eat I just think that is so cute I only have two more items to share with you guys and the first one is a set of glassware I love this glassware here so you actually get eight pieces two of each of the designs shown here so eight total I ended up just grabbing one of each to share with you guys so there is a little kind of champagne coupe which could also be perfect for us like a little dessert bowl and then this one also could be a little dessert bowl as well but it's a bit of a larger kind of champagne -y wine glass I don't know my wine terminology you guys and then we have a just kind of a traditional cup here and then we have a tall ball kind of glass as well so all around I think these are gonna be great for cocktails especially for Thanksgiving I love how you kind of have a different variation so I wanted to kind of create a little cocktail menu as well and have different kinds of cocktails like maybe one for this glass shape one for this glass shape and honestly just designing the cocktails based off the glassware I picked these up I thought it would be nice to kind of have a different take on cocktails this year and have like a couple different glasses different styles but also have them coordinating at the same time and the last item I want to share with you guys is a little bedside croft this is very very simple and minimal it is amber glass and I love this so if you guys have never seen one of these before you essentially just fill up the base with water this is your little cup you could bring it to your bedside table put it on there at night and if you wake up in the middle of the night pour yourself some water and you are good to go and there you go I feel like I just blabbered for 30 minutes and I hope that you guys loved these items as much as I do. I am so excited to be hosting Thanksgiving this year with all of these new accessories, which are going to be perfect for my table setting. And then also my decor as well. I'm excited to put up my olive tree. I'm excited to put up my gold frames and all around. These are just some really great finds from Amazon. I definitely will link all of the pieces in the description box below for you. And do not forget to also give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. I also got to mention one last time. Don't forget to enter my little giveaway over on Instagram for your chance to win one of two kitchen mixers so just find this photo over on my Instagram and join in just simply tag a friend in the comment section and you are good to go that is about all you guys I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you all in my next one have an amazing rest of your day bye everybody